So how did I get in the wine business? Well, I've ran real estate companies pretty much my entire life. Uh, I've built companies, I've ran companies, and I woke up one day and decided that I wanted to follow a passion of mine, and that passion is wine. Um, I've always, you know, during my career in real estate, have collected wine, uh, I've gone to wine tastings, have traveled around the world to different wine regions, and I woke up one day and said, hey, this is something I'm very passionate about. Why don't I go out and see if I can make a business of it? And so here we are today, uh, and uh, we're making it happen, so I'm very excited. Well, Wesley Ashley Wines, the name of our winery, um, comes from uh, Wesley being my middle name, uh, Ashley being my little girl, the girl's middle name, uh, who's 10 years old. And it also happens to be uh, the first name of my fiance, Ashley. So it's, um, it's a family-run business. Uh, I've loved Rhone wines my entire life. Uh, the first time I ever had a Rhone, uh, it was so different than everything else that I've tasted. Uh, I think in California, and maybe the United States in general, that people um, are used to Cabernet, and they're used to Chardonnay, and I wanted to go a different direction. Uh, and I started experimenting with a bunch of different wines, but when the first time I ever had a Rhone, I mean, it really knocked, knocked me off my feet. Um, I love the earth. I love the dirtiness of it, and I said, hey, this is something I love very much. So when I got into the business, I knew exactly what I was going to do, and it was going to be uh, Rhone-style blends uh, from the Central Coast. I'm a photographer. Uh, I've traveled around the world, and I love shooting uh, all the places that I've been. And I knew when we put the wine together that I was going to, to use photography on the label. I think uh, photography in itself is uh, very engaging. And uh, so once we finished the first blend, um, I was looking around through my photographs, trying to figure out what we were going to use, and I stumbled upon uh, the picture of the bike. And I shot that picture in Cuba uh, on a trip. And uh, when I came by the bike, I looked at it and I said, what a piece of junk this thing was. But, you know, there was a form of art to it. And I said, this could be a really great photo. So I shot it and uh, it was up in my house. And we, uh, as we started working on the wine and the blend, it occurred to me one night over a bottle of wine that the bike had a lot of similarities to uh, the blend itself. Um, and if you look at the picture of the bike, uh, there's multiple components going on. You've got Schwinn in the back, you've got uh, BMX in the front, you've got PVC for um, the uh, pedals, and there's a lot of different components coming together. Um, but if you understand the poverty in Cuba, then you understand the, the beauty of that bike, because that person was very resourceful and was able to bring those components together to create something uh, that's functional. And we feel the same about our wines. You may look at our wines and look at our blends and say, wow, this is kind of a mad scientist blend. How did you bring all these components together? And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just that love and passion uh, of seeing uh, things that you love about the varietals. You know, there's certain things I love about Grenache and certain things I love about Syrah, but being able to put those things together and have them cohesively come together and create a beautiful wine uh, is, uh, is the, the beauty of, of winemaking. And I think that uh, the label itself uh, reflects the beauty of uh, components coming together and being very functional. Pop. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, pop. Um, pop is a French word that means Pope. And uh, one day we were creatively talking about uh, the wine, the winery, uh, and this debate about intelligent design. I think that uh, everyone has a vested interest in uh, the, the debate um, between, you know, did we evolve or were we created? And uh, it's, it's a hot topic, and I think people get very emotional over it. But I said, hey, why don't we have some fun with this? Why don't we poke fun at both sides? And, um, and over a bottle of wine one night, I brought up the idea of a monkey in a pope's outfit and that this monkey in the pope outfit would represent the duality the the two sides 
of this debate. Um, and it may piss some people off and people may not like it, but I think um, uh, if you understand that we're really not picking sides in this and we just want to have fun with the debate, have people think about it, have people talk about it, um, and especially uh, debate and talk about it over our wine. You know, um, I think that wine is, is all about you know, great friends, great food, and great conversation. And that we hope that this debate, uh, intelligence design, and our monkey, uh, Pop, uh, will bring on some great debates.